Hey guys, what's up? This is Francisco with Valerio Capital. And in this video, we're gonna go through the weekly watch list. Uh, we're gonna take a look at some of the names that I have on my watch list, which are more, most of these names that I'm seeing right now, I'm mostly on the XLE sector. And I have one name, which is actually in the, in the software sector, which is the only one that is kind of, the, of, of a name that is trending to the downside. But I think that we're gonna see some short covering in the indexes and that might fuel a rally in some of those oversold names as well. So remember guys that this video is for educational purposes only and is based on my personal opinion and my personal analysis. So now let's just jump right in into the, into the, into the setups. First of all, I have here AMR and the action is, has, been, has been pretty amazing, right? We have seen the market on, on a severe, on a, on a on a on a <clears throat> interesting and unsustainable uh, correction for a couple of months now, and what is super interesting about of this, what is super interesting up, uh, about these names that we're gonna see is that most of them have have hold that fifty daily moving average, and you can see here AMR as an example. We have been holding that fifty daily moving average. You can see the volume patterns. We see a lot of pocket of of pocket people days, which signals a accumulation. And of course, we have a squeeze. The train oscillator is trying to go green here, trying to go above that, that red line, which is actually pretty constructive to the long side. And now you can see that AMR is actually breaking above this 164 pivot, a little bit extended from the moving averages. So I think in the best case scenario that we can see here is a pullback into that, into that 164 uh, pivot to retest it, retest those moving averages, and then have a, a continuation of the rally. But of course, you can see here that we are actually seeing an inside day on lower volume. So another way to play this will be a break above this, this, this level right here, and then a continuation higher. Now let's take an, a look at the next name that I have here, and I have BPT. And we saw a pretty strong move in BPT, one of the, one of the strongest names uh, last week. Um, the setup was there, right? The setup was there. You can see a lot of accumulation on the way up in BPT. You can see that we were trending. You can see the trend oscillator, right? Trending pretty nicely above that red line, which is actually pretty strong. And you can see that we have a slingshot squeeze that went all the way down. And now we're coming all the way back up. You can see that we have a really strong breakout above, above that 16.45 pivot. And that we actually broke above this 1839 level on really nice volume, a pocket pivot day. And now we're just resting right below that 1272 extension measured from this swing high to this swing low right here. So kind of similar to AMR, I will prefer to buy a pullback into the into the into this 18.39 pivot, somewhere around that eight exponential moving average. Or of course, since this is an inside day on lower volume, you can play it. As soon as I as as it came above this this high right here, looking for some continuation to the upside as well. Now let's take a look at Hess, which is another name that I'm looking. Hess Corporation and all of these names that I'm showing you guys, they're in, they they are in confirmed uptrends and they have either increasing sales over forty percent or they have increasing earnings per share over forty percent as well. Uh, they also have a Nasdaq Composite rating over ninety percent and all and all that amazing stuff. So these are pretty strong names. These are leading names on leading industries. So I think these have a high probability of continuing higher if we continue to see some more short covering, uh, some more short covering action in the indexes. So now let's go back to the chart. We have HES right here. We have a squeeze. Uh, the momentum indicator of the trend oscillator continues to trend above that red line, which is pretty bullish. And now we have we have we see here that we are breaking. We already broke above that one seventeen point oh point oh six pivot, and now we we basically close somewhere around the highs of the high of the day. And now pretty, a little bit extended from the pivot, so optimal scenario will be for a pullback to retest that eight exponential and that one seventeen pivot, and then some continuation to the upside. Now let's take a look at the next name. I have somewhere around 10 names that I want to show you. Let's take a look at EQT, which is which was pretty strong action right here. Right? You can see that we had a pretty strong look at the accumulation here, right? Beautiful volume patterns. You can see that the trend oscillator was trending higher the entire, the entire time. Even though we pulled back to that 50, the trend oscillator held that red line, which is pretty powerful. And you can see that we have a, a slingshot squeeze. We already broke above this 43.06 uh, pivot. 
and now we broke about that 45.50 pivot and we came all the way right into that one um, 127.2 percent uh, Fibonacci extension measured from this swing high to this swing low and now we we're pausing here a little bit best case scenario will be we pull back to this pivot somewhere around this eight exponential moving average and then we continue higher into the next level which is 52.50 52.22 based on the Fibonacci extension of 1618.8 now let's take a look at NFE and we can see NFE right here right beautiful patterns right we have seen some volume coming into the name you can see that the trend oscillator was trending higher this entire time which means that there's a high probability for this name to hold above the 50 daily moving average and we can see here that we have a squeeze beautiful formation here we close above this 46.2 level and now the next level is 49.30 so you can play it either either as a breakout i prefer to wait to see if we can get some more consolidation above this level we can see this eight exponential moving average catch it uh, to catch up a little bit with price and then i'll be looking for more continuation to the upside now let's take a look at let's take a look at golden ocean right here which is google but it's not google uh, so now for this one right we have seen really strong move to the upside right after earnings beautiful move beautiful breakout uh, we had a squeeze the trend oscillator continues to trend above that red line which is awesome and now we're holding right now we're holding right we're holding this eight exponential moving average uh, i think a golden opp opportunity will be will will be a pullback into this 21 exponential moving average but of course if this name wants to continue higher i think that you wait for a breakout above 16 and then look for more continuation to the upside and then let's take a look at alts and this one right kind of very similar to the other ones you can see the we can you can see that we have a couple of pocket pivot days we have a squeeze you can see right here that the trend oscillator is trying to keep its, its, its trend right here that now we move above it and now we have this this now we have this this pivot level of 30.45 any break above that level would make me think that this is going to go a little bit higher and perhaps test this 33 level before building and then continue to the upside now let's take a look at PRCT, which is a which is a recent IPO, and this one looks pretty pretty amazing, right? You can see right here that we have the cup and handle, pretty textbook. You can see that the trend oscillator was trending this entire time, and that means that there's a high probability of this closing above the 50 daily moving average, which is actually what it's doing. And you can see that we have an active squeeze, and that we are basically basing right below this pivot of 40.69. So any move into this 21 exponential moving average or this eight exponential moving average, I think will be a golden opportunity to get some exposure and then use this 50 as your selling guide and look for a test of 47.73 in the coming trading days. Now let's take a look at another IPO, which is Aris. And this is, this is pretty amazing IPO, right? You can see the volume that came into, the, into, into, into this name you can see the, the squeeze that is active and you can see that the trend oscillator is above zero. And this is pretty amazing action, right? If we are lucky enough, right? If, if the price action uh, give us an opportunity to get in because I think that right now is pretty extended and it's basically at that 1.127.22 1 extension, which is basically measured from this swing high to this swing low. That's a little bit extended, right? So what we wanna see is a little bit of a, of a, of a pullback into this into this breakout level and that will be an opportunity to continue higher into the next level which is the 1618 uh, extension fibonacci extension which will be somewhere around 22.50 and this one is an ipo that i that i, that I really like a lot and let me just show you on market smith that i have right here you can see right here that the that the volume was actually the largest volume since the base Right, so that's that's something to see, right? People are people are actually buying this, and you can see that we actually broke above it, and now we're getting some con con continuation higher. And I think that Aris is a true market leader in the making. So keep this one in your watch list. And then finally, the only name that I'm watching, which is not a not in a confirmed uptrend per se, because it's below the moving averages, is is BRSZ. And the only reason that I'm watching this one is because I think there's a probability that we're going to see some really strong short covering in these in these beaten down names. Uh, and the reason why I chose this one is because the, it's the only one that I see that has a trend oscillator that continues to trend higher. 
So the way this one works, this train oscillator, it doesn't work with the, it's not that we need moving average, ali moving average alignment for this to be trending higher. It's actually, it actually calculates momentum and it's a pretty amazing tool. So what I'm seeing here is that we are actually, let me zoom in here a little bit for, for, for this one. What we're seeing here is, see this higher low right here, right? We have our low, we have a higher low. This continues to trend higher. We're starting to squeeze. And now we are basically basing right below the, this, this 35.29 level. If we see some short covering, some of these names are gonna, are gonna move pretty, pretty strongly to the upside. And I think there's a high probability that we're gonna see BRZ all the way to 47.93. Of course, managing risk, the best, the best way to manage risk is get it, getting your position somewhere around this eight and 21 exponential moving average, and then perhaps use this low as your stop. And then just see, let's just see if we can get some short covering, but this one looks pretty interesting. If you're looking to buy some of these names that continue to be on a downtrend, because remember that this is a downtrend. And if you're lucky enough to catch a move all the way up here, I would just take my profits and run, to be honest. And then let me just give you one, one last name, which is USO. And right, we are starting to see some breakout, right? We have the squeeze, trend oscillator is starting to move above the red line. And we are finally, well, this name is finally moving above that 82.48, which made me think that is kind of a, of a magnet, this 87.84. And then we will have to see if we happen to get more upside in the in crude oil, in the ETF for crude oil. So that will be it for the, for the names guy. Guys, I, I hope this watch list it was helpful for you uh, so that you can have more names to add into your own personal watch list. All of these names are based on, 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 on the screens that I, that I use in MarketSmith to, to find them. I, I usually, what I do is that I focus on companies that have increasing earning sales and increasing earnings per, per, uh, earnings per share over 40% for both of those aspects. And I look in, and I always look for, for, in, for stocks that are trading in the top 40 industries. That way I can find leading stock in leading sectors if I want to play them in a bullish way. So thank you so much guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I hope this watch was helpful for you. Make sure to, to make the train your own and I wish you the best of luck for next week. Thank you so much guys for watching. Take care and bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.